U.S. boots will still be on the ground, even if the mission is changing. And keep in mind that even before President Biden entered the White House, the U.S. had shifted its focus to advising Iraqi forces and not fighting on the battlefield. There are currently about 2,500 U.S. troops in Iraq, and they've been playing a backup role to Iraqi forces really since about 2019 when ISIS collapsed. They're a shadow of what they once were. But this is really giving Biden some breathing room politically. Uh, and you have the Iraqi prime minister. It's also under political pressure because he's trying to show the Iraqi public that the U.S. isn't, quote, unquote, occupying Iraq indefinitely. So this is symbolic but important in both countries politically. And for Biden, as you said, this is another example of him trying to move the country away from these so-called forever wars. He's already uh, announced the U.S. is withdrawing from Afghanistan next month. Uh, but he's still keeping his options open here. There's no timeline as to when these 2,500 U.S. troops in Iraq will actually depart the country. This is just saying no more combat uh, and, and only an advisory role. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.